And let's see how the value of the premiums and the numbers that we're tracking change when we improve this. So let's go from 10 to 100. If you go from 10 to 100 simulations, so let's extend this, there we go. So from 10 to 100, the accuracy of our projections should certainly improve by how much we don't know. And I think that's the question that we have to answer. So uh, 104, there we go, that's 10 to 100. Now I need to do, do a couple of things. Remember we used step one is to rebuild the table. So you go to data, what if analysis, data table, click on column input cell, pick a blank cell, press OK, and you have your numbers. So this set of numbers are the most recent addition to our calculator and iterator. And what they basically do for us is add another 90 iterations. Now I need to update the results column because if you remember, this only goes to F2, this only goes till here. I need to extend this all the way down to the next state. So that is 105 and 104 are here. And then I simply update these. And now let's see what happens to our calculation. So previously when we were looking at results, the numbers were all over the space. And uh, now when we look at update the sequence, the values that we're looking at are STs greater than X, um, call premium and put premium. So